today's episode of Random 2000s Faxes I've never seen, heard or cared about before is this Fax Essentials, a very lightweight, simple, blue bagless cleaner with wheels that sound absolutely terrible and a lovely pleated heifer filter. I don't normally go for stuff like this, as you know, but I did. I paid £5 because it looks a bit interesting. Let's have a look, see just how bad this is and if it works at all. Yes, hello, my fax value bagless chums. How are you? today. Yes, this thing cost me a fiver. I went up into town. I don't normally work from home on a Tuesday and I forgot that the market was in my town where I live and there was a tat stall and this was sat at the tat stall and I asked how much it was. They said a fiver and I had that in pound coins in my pockets. So we did that and yeah, we now own this premium, beautiful, magnificent vacuum cleaner. Let's have a bit of a close look at it I and mean, we can get the handle out of the way now because there is nothing there at all. Just what you hold it on. I mean, the screws are that side. This side looks much better. So now that that's out of the way, we can come a bit closer and have a look at the machine itself. Now this overall is a very familiar design. I'm imagining and hoping that all you Vax nerds out there are going to correct me that... This was used since, I don't know if this is an early version, and then they used the design in a white 1800 watt. That's pretty much, oh, the possum cord hook does work. That's pretty much all I can find about this online, is a white 1800 watt version. And I'd imagine somewhere kicking around now is probably roughly this style of vacuum cleaner. And oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, I spot our first problem. I mean, the guy said it runs, so... We're probably just going to leave this on and pretend we didn't see it and um, run it for now. But oh, it's going to need a flex. Oh, yeah, my five pound investment is tumbling down as we speak. But now that we got the cable off, we can see that I got pretty much no tools with this. It came with a very well used crevice tool. This machine has been taken care of. No wand. No small tool, but I think all this probably would have come with was a wand and this scabbard tool. There is no provision anywhere else for any other tool anyway. And again, this is effectively a Billy Budget Basic vacuum cleaner. So we're lucky to even have a mouldy old hose there. Yeah, we should be thankful. Yeah, you get a bit of stretch out of that. Oh, lovely look. It's been used to clean up after a baking party. How fantastic. Doesn't that bode well for what's in there? So there's our little hose. I think it comes off with a, oh, with a little twist. Look, it is completely clogged. Like, oh, we're not going to be able to enjoy the sound of it choking itself to death. Oh, look, it's been used for a DIY. How fabulous. If my spidey senses are correct, this hose should untwist. But it's not. However, I think that's... Not everything. Ah, oh, look at yeah, plaster dust. We're going to make it eat it. I reckon that might do it. We're going to find out in a second. Ah. So I'll put that back on. Oh no, wait. Ah, it's vomiting more. Oh, I mean, I could go get another machine out, but I just can't be bothered. I just want to. Oh look, I've got a free screw. How fantastic! I just want to get the hose back on before it causes any more rubbish and then we can move on to and look there's even a little cover look so the dirt doesn't fall into the dirt hole that's clever i'm now really concerned about what <laughs> what the state of in here is going to be here is where the dirt goes up we have ourselves a little post motor filter and that's always a good sign isn't it when the dirt has been blowing out of the motor for so long that it has Seize itself in, that's always good. Oh, why won't you turn? I'm seeing the line there. I'm trying to, I have to do it this way so I can brace it against my knee. Ow, 
Why won't you? Ah, there we go. Come on. Hey, you're up now, and all blimey. Ew, I mean, yeah, oh, oh, oh. May well wash up. We're certainly going to try. Yeah, look at, look at the state of in there. We'll leave it on for now because I don't care about it at all. Look, we'll empty out the rest of the rubbish that it has sadly taken. Work out which way around the flipping bin goes. There it is. Line up, put those there. We'll put that on there and we'll pretend we never saw any of that. How lovely. Let's set our expectations to low and check the box. Underneath of this thing, well, we have a brush roll. That is promising. I think this is one of those machines where you've actually got to take the hood off. And I can't bother to do that now. I say now. We might have to because I don't think it's got a very good belt on it at all. And the brush roll is quite soft as well. It's not a stiffy. That's a bit of a shame. Here is its ratings plate. Oh, backs. V there <laughs> literally is its name there 104 in fact there 104 how lovely indeed well I don't manufacture a date no it's not I thought 2011 I don't know someone will know we may even find the date stamp one day I think what we should do is plug in up there and see if it chokes to death on this rubbish here we go then, I'll keep filming in case it explodes or something fun like that. Oh, untangle the cable because I want to check that there's no damage that they didn't spot and slap gaffer tape all over. That would be, that would be inconsiderate of them. No, we're good. Oh, it didn't fire into life. The guy said he turned it on. touching the floor what's going on it's just skimming that's not very satisfying at all <laughs> running nice and hot well it works it picked up its own dirt but that belt is absolutely destroyed so we are now going to endeavor to replace the belt and you see if it perks it up at all right there we've got three screws i think one there one here and one there oh no wait four five yeah fair enough Two on the front as well. That makes some sense. Then I, I I don't quite know how the rest of this is going to happen. Is this going to come off? No. <laughs> nah. Problem is this isn't. Oh, hang on. This isn't really the sort of vacuum that. The, oh my goodness. Uh, it's got sawdust falling out of it. Oh, the pipe control knob is in our way. Yes, ah, it is screwed. Get out. We don't want you. Did the wheels come out now? Yes, they do. Here are our front wheels. You can see we're being ever so gentle with it. Why is there so much sawdust? Are we missing a screw? Oh, no, there we go. Oh, whoa. 
Oh, I hope there's not a mouse about to fall out of here. Ah! Look at that, folks! That's not going to be helping at all. What in the world? Oh, I don't want to poke it now. Um, hmm. So it's definitely been mildly abused, which I sort of approve of. Can we just pick it out? Being ever so gentle to dislodge it. Oh, very well. No mice in there is, uh, no. Oh, God. Um, okay, yeah, no, we good. Wow. So, there we go. This hose obviously does absolutely nothing. And we can get to our brass roller, which, yeah, is a, is a limp, sad little thing. Ew, that's not terribly nice. But it's probably not this machine's biggest fatal flaw. No. Wow, look at how long this belt is. That's amazing it did anything at all. Now, I've got the box of stuff out, as you can see, and immediately my eyes were drawn to these belts here, which isn't for this there, it's for a VS-10. But doesn't that look remarkably similar to our there? And knowing Vax, they probably keep the same everything. Yeah, that belt fits physically into there. I want to get some more of this. That'll do. It may see a refurb. It's a... Is it as thick as the other one? No. And this other one is actually a pattern belt anyway. This is a DVB008. What I have to replace it with... Uh, 28. <laughs> that's a 0028. And that's a 0028 as well. But it doesn't really matter with this cheap gun. As long as it turns by hand, I'm going to be happy enough. Crikey. Ah, oh no, now the brush roll wants to flick out. That's going to be annoying. Right, oh, don't check up the sawdust. Right, that's now much better. Here is the underside of our hood. I'm just having a quick scout around for any immediate date wheels, but none so far. It's going to be mid 2000s, I imagine. Put oh. this back down. I'm going to pop everything back together and then we got some more dirt to clean up. I might even re-empty the bin for fun. And now that we're back together with a new belt and crikey, all that sawdust removed, it's time to clean it all back up again. And hopefully it's going to sound a lot nicer. Where's the on spread? Oh yes!
Well, it did all right eventually. There's something not quite right with this bottom wheel in that when it's all back together, it doesn't sit quite right. Whereas as soon as I you know, tweak and adjust it on the floor, it seems to click back into place. That's when the little brush roll tries its best to scrub at the carpet. The suction still isn't too bad. And it's now very, 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 very full and clogged up indeed. The power switch is a light, fiddly stop to get to when you're trying to actually use the machine. And it suffers so much from DC01 syndrome, where the exhaust air comes out of here and is literally channeled downwards. So, you know, you have to turn the machine on, already reclined, so it goes up out of the way, especially for this sort of stuff. But... I mean, it, 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 it did all right. What do you reckon? I'm going to chuck it in the shed right now. I'll be completely honest with you. I might empty it first. But would you like to see us do this thing up? I can't promise we'll find an actual wand for it. But it has this little crevice still sitting there. What do you reckon? Should we give it a clean up, do it up and see if it's any better? Or should I just find somebody who needs a free vacuum and say, here you go, really? The wheels aren't the best. So they're probably wearing although I mean it's not too bad again coming apart and just being cleaned is going to do this the world of good and yeah who knows Vax are here to help maybe Becco is here to help this poor little Vax and of course we'll stick a better cable on it because I've got plenty of random scrap cable fit for this so yeah I've bought weirder things from the market but probably nothing quite as useless as this Vax Essentials. What do you think? Have you experienced one of these machines? I know they did a matching cylinder. I've seen Google pictures of that. It looks equally as terrible. But yeah, did you actually use one of these when they were new and current? And what did you think? But until the next time, I and my now much cleaner Vax Essentials will we'll see you soon. Bye bye.